Hi everyone, thank you for coming and joining me for another video. This is going to be a general collective reading for all of my Sagittarius signs, sun, moon, and rising for the month of April. Thank you so much for stopping by and giving this video a chance. Um, as you guys can see, I'm still playing around with camera angles and um, I really feel like there's value in being able to see the cards in your spread. So hopefully you guys like this little switch up this month. I'm also trying a different method of shuffling just to see what cards want to pop out on their own. The only thing that's not changing this month in my readings is that the top row is still going to be your recent past. The middle row is your present. And the bottom row closest to me is your near future. I will not take these. There's too many. Let's keep going. I hope you guys are having an awesome start to your April. I'm still feeling full moon energy from March. I'm sure I'm not the only one. A lot of transitions. A lot of ascension systems. Systems. Why am I saying systems? I wonder what that means. I think the word system might be significant to somebody out there. What I meant to say was ascension symptoms, not systems. Yet the word systems came out. Interesting. Maybe the way that you're doing things, your systems in everyday life are going through some sort of transformation, Sagittarians. Maybe what you consider to be your normal routines are going through some sort of shakeup. I'll take that. I wouldn't be surprised. I feel like Sagittarians over the last few months, you guys have been going through a huge transformation process. Oh my gosh, these are such good cards. These are such good cards for your present. Wow. Okay, let's keep going. I'm going to move these up. The really cool thing about the energy of all of April is that there are no planets in retrograde. All the planets are in forward direct motion. So I wouldn't be surprised if you guys, as fire signs, are feeling super lit up and really motivated in life right now. Like there's just a lot of stuff going on. And I think for a lot of you, you're really starting to see that stuff that seemed hopeless in the last few months, you're starting to see how you sticking around for all of it has actually been such a blessing in disguise. Like you're learning a lot about yourself, the people around you, you're learning a lot about what your boundaries are, what you're willing to put up with, why you get so triggered by people. We're going to take these. All right, an extra card popped out, but that's not a problem. We're going to honor that. You also have the devil card at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. All right, so at the top of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Wheel card upright, and the Eight of Wands in reverse. In the past, some of you may have been dealing with an air sign. This is a Gemini, a Libra, or Aquarius. And I think for some of you, um, if this is in terms of a love relationship, maybe you were with an air sign, Sagittarius, where you just really couldn't see how things were going to pan out for you in the future with this person. I think at one point they seemed like they had a lot of potential. Maybe for some you thought that you were you could settle down with this person, maybe start a family with them, um, uh, build maybe a business with one another, um, build a happy, stable household with this person. Um, maybe you even thought that, yeah, we're like, on the road to getting a place together of settling down and planting roots uh, with one another 
um, talks of marriage, talks of uh, bringing your relationship to the next stage. Maybe all of that seemed like you were heading in that direction. And I think in your recent past, the last few months even, you're starting to notice that, hold on, hold my horses for a sec. It's not as uh, straightforward and as clear as I thought it once was with this air sign. I think maybe they haven't been communicating as openly. They have not been as vulnerable. They're showing up in reverse here. So for some of you, you might be feeling like they've been a little bit more cold and distant um, in your recent past, the last few months. Maybe they have a lot of stuff going on in their own life and they've they're just appearing not as warm and welcoming and open and consistent, especially in their communication as you once thought they were. And I think that has given you some doubts about your relationship, something that you were very secure about in the beginning, in your recent past, you started to notice that maybe it wasn't, it wasn't as perfect as it seemed or that you guys won't get to that next stage in your relationship as easily and as quickly as maybe you thought you originally would have. With the wheel card upright and the eight of wands in reverse, conversations that you maybe avoided having with this person, you can no, no longer run from these conversations. The wheel is coming full circle. If you felt like maybe this person has been withholding from you, or the two of you haven't been able to see eye to eye. Maybe you guys have had some petty fights in uh, your recent past. Or just a lot of miscommunication. A lot of miscommunication with the Eight of Wands in reverse. All of that is going to come to a head this month. With all the planets in direct motion, I think something that wasn't spoken about before is coming around full circle. And the two of you will be able to have more open and honest conversations with one another about your expectations in the relationship, about the things that have bothered you, about the things that have been triggering, all the stuff that you guys have kind of just been like skirting around and not really being open and vulnerable about is going to come to the forefront. In your present, this conversation hasn't happened yet. With the death card in reverse, a transformation that needs to happen in your relationship, the end of an old cycle in order to allow a new cycle to come through hasn't necessarily occurred yet. I think it's there. I think it's in the space. Um, it's just around the corner, but maybe part of the reason why you haven't felt confident enough to bring up these things is because you are actually in the middle of figuring out for yourself where you want to take your life. Not necessarily with this person. And it's not that you cut this person, this air sign out of your life. It's that you're starting to realize in order for you to even get to this place of equilibrium, of happiness, of family, of structure, stability with this air sign, you yourself, you have to know yourself first. You have to know where you're going first. Where are you headed, Sagittarius? Where are you going? What do you want for you? Where do you find your inner happiness? How do you channel your fire sign energy into projects, into collaboration with other people? How do you channel this fiery energy that you have so that you could build a life around yourself first. I almost feel like in this top row, you kind of lost a little bit of yourself in the relationship with this air sign. Um, and that things that maybe you would normally bring up with the eight of wands in conversation, stuff that you would normally just say out loud, you kind of like started to second guess. Um, Maybe because you didn't want to hurt this air sign's feelings or you just didn't want to create an argument or fight. But in silencing yourself, you've kind of lost your own spunky, don't give a fuck, I'm going to do what I want, go after my dreams and desires, that confident energy. 
Cue that track. Move, beep, get out the way. <laughs> right? Like, that's you. Nobody holds you back from what you want, Sagittarius, at least not in the past. And I think, I think with this relationship, you kind of forgot about who you are. It's kind of like that. Excuse me, do you even know who the fuck I am? You don't even know who you are messing with, who you are dealing with. Do you know who I am? It's one of those situations where you're asking this person in your head like, yo, do you even know who you are with? Because I'm a bad B. <laughs> or if you're a guy, then you're telling your, you're thinking to yourself about your partner like, yo, you got it so good. You don't even know who you have in your corner right now. Like, I really am that person. I am that person. And I think right now in the present, you're really being called to remember who you are. Remember who you are. You are a fire sign through and through. You live your passions. And if it doesn't light you up, you don't align with it. And yet you have aligned yourself with someone that sometimes makes you question who you are, why you do what you do, what you think, what you feel, what you want. Like they're a mystery to you, Sagittarius. You usually have a great read on people, but for some reason, this person that you're in relationship with, if it's not love, it could even be a business partner, but this person, like they're an unsolvable mystery. There's always something about them that you haven't figured out and it almost dims your light. Like they don't do it on purpose to make you feel shitty about yourself. It's just that because you can't figure it out and you don't want to like fight for no reason, you're kind of just like withholding. But in the withholding, you're now silencing yourself. And in silencing yourself, you've forgotten about who you are. Like you need to get your sexy back. You need to get that confidence back. Remember who you are. I think that's the main message of this reading in April, Sagittarians, is remember who the fuck you are. <laughs> and in your near future, I see great things here. You got the strength card. This is you channeling your inner strength. Maybe you're, you're going to end up hooking up with a Leo sign who's going to help you remember that fire sign energy. Um, you Sagittarians are a lot like Leos, you know, you toot your own horn, you carve your own paths. Um, you're natural leaders, you don't just, you're not a sheep, you don't just follow what everyone else says or does. And I think you, you're either channeling this energy and remembering this about yourself, or you might end up meeting a Leo sign to help inspire that in you. I think you're gonna stop paying so much attention to your relationship, not that you're going to become cold hearted and withhold some more but i think you'll realize that your relationship has to take a back seat for a second so that you can get back to who you are with the knight of wands upright this is a rediscovering of your passionate purpose this is a rediscovering of your inner power this is going out there and maybe even taking a step forward in doing things that you would have done to make yourself happy before you got into this relationship with the air sign. This is coming out of seclusion. This is, um, I feel like while you were in relationship with this air sign, You've probably been consumed with a lot of work, life, just things in general that have made you busy and have maybe, um, may, that have maybe kept you so busy to the point where you don't even have time to be social. I get it. We're in a pandemic, whatever. Maybe we're not able to meet with our friends as regularly, but it's this idea that you've kind of just like ignored your intuition for quite some time. That's told you that maybe you need to continue cultivating your life outside of this relationship. And I think you're getting out of that state of mind. 
you're in the near future, you're getting out of this idea of like keeping your schedule open so that you always have time for your partner whenever they happen to be available. It's remembering that, nope, you don't have to be a hermit anymore. Like listen to your gut instincts. If your gut is telling you mm, something about this isn't right and it's not that I don't love them, it's not that I don't want to be with them, it's that I've lost myself in this situation and the only way to find myself again is to let go of the fear that I have that if I start paying more attention to myself, if I start paying more attention to what makes me happy, I have a fear that I might lose this person. Sagittarius, get rid of that mentality right now. What's meant for you is always going to be what's meant for you. Whatever trauma you've been through in the past that makes you feel like you have to let go of your voice or that you're too, too strong, too passionate, you're too blah, 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 whatever it is, let go of that. If the person really loves you and cares about you while you're continuing to work on yourself and rediscover that which lights you up, they will still be there. You have the devil card upright at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, interesting. And justice. Okay, you need to find a balance. You need to find a balance. Um, and you need to find your sexy again with the devil card. Like this could be a Capricorn. Some of you might be cuspers. Others of you could be dealing with Capricorn energy. Um, for others of you, the devil card symbolizes, um, sexuality, uh, indulgence. And I think for some, you kind of forgot that you have your own needs as well. I think you've been trying to juggle the needs of other people, probably your partner, whoever you're in a relationship with. Again, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, this water sign also could be a Leo. I do have that here. I also have Capricorn here. Um, but I think you need to rediscover who you are as the evolved spirit that you are right now. You need to rediscover having a balance in your life. Maybe some of you have been working too much. There's no, not enough time for play. There's not enough time to enjoy life. For some of you, you haven't been feeling sexy. Time to find your sexy back. For others of you, you've given too much to your partner in relationship. And you need to find that balance again. And the only way to do that is to take some time away from your relationship and to also focus on yourself. Focus on developing more routines. Focus on loving up on yourself again. And use this month with all the planets indirect to rediscover the thing that makes you unique. The thing that made you so special for this person to fall for you in the first place. Your life does not revolve around this relationship all right? No, no, no. You have a life outside of this relationship. And it is up to you to remember that and up to you to continue cultivating that. And it's when you start loving yourself again, the way that you know you used to, that's when this person is going to turn their card around. This 10 of pentacles will turn itself around. This eight of wands will turn itself around. And the issues that you used to have with weird communication blockages in your relationship with stagnant energy, that's all going to correct itself with the wheel upright. It will correct itself once you start paying attention to you and you start making yourself a priority again. All right, Sagittarius fam, thank you so much for joining me for this video. If it resonated with you, please make sure that you like this video, you subscribe to my channel, and you also hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified of when I drop a new video. I appreciate you guys so much for spending this time with me. I wish you all a fantastic April. And remember, love yourself first, find your sexy back, and everything is going to work itself out. All right, see you guys later. Bye.